Welcome. Today we will be presenting Applying to Cerritos College. My name is Michelle and I'm a student ambassador. I am majoring in sociology and my academic goal is to transfer. My name is Juliana. My major is international relations um, or global studies. I'm also a student ambassador here at Cerritos College and my goal is to transfer um, next fall and hopefully graduate with my bachelor's degree. So we'll go ahead and get started with our Applying to Cerritos College presentation. First, you want to go to our homepage, www.cerritos.edu. It will look like this page right here. And then you'll look on the right top hand corner at the yellow box that says apply now and you want to click that box. In the event that you still um, can't see the box, we've blown it up for you on this next slide. So again, it's a big bright, bright yellow apply now box and it's located next to our quick links tab right here, as well as above the, this bar right here with all our other student services tabs. Then it will take you to this page. You want to sign in if you have applied to any community college in California before, or create an account if you have not. So you're gonna wanna create your open CCC account um, this is not necessarily applying to Cerritos College yet. This is just to open the portal to apply to um, the community colleges in the California Community College District. So if you were looking to apply to other community colleges like Cypress College or LBCC, you will use this same account. Or if you've already applied in the past to these schools, you're going to want to again sign into this account. Then to create an account, you have to input some personal information like your legal name, first name, middle name, and you check a box if you don't have a middle name, your last name, a suffix if you have one, and you'll click yes or no if you have a previous name or if you have a preferred name that is different from your legal and or previous name. Then you're gonna wanna input your date of birth. So you were gonna go and put it month, day and year, and you're gonna to wanna to confirm that. And then after, because we are applying for admission to Cerritos College, and most of you will probably be applying to financial aid, you will click this box right here. Then you want to indicate the type of number you have, a social security number or a taxpayer ident identification number. If you don't have it now if you don't have it memorized you could check the box on the bottom that you don't have it right now but you want to remember to put it in after you review your application in the event that you do not have a social security number whether you are an international student non-resident alien or an undocumented student you're going to want to click then the second box right here which indicates to our system that you do not have a social security number or taxpayer identification number at all Then you want to enter your contact information. You want to use an email, a personal email, not your high school email that they give you, a personal email. Then you want to put in your telephone number and if you want to authorize text messages to the phone number and accept responsibility for any charges that result. Then you're gonna to wanna to put in your permanent address, whether it is in the state of California or not. If your permanent address is outside the United States, you're gonna to wanna to click this box. And if you do not have a permanent address because you're considered homeless, you will click this box. Then you want to create a username and a password. Your password needs to be seven to 20 characters, letters, and at least one number. Your username must be at least six characters, letter, letters, numbers, and special characters. You want to be sure to record your username and password for later use and don't share your account with others, even family members. Then you want to create a security pin, um, just a four digit number that you will remember and you want to enter it twice and just make sure you type it in correctly, just for additional security. And then you're going to select from the security questions that are provided and you're going to um, put in answers to those security questions. 
Um, you want to take a picture or write down the answers to these questions. It is very easy to forget um, the answers and the questions that you selected. So um, it's important that you take that down and then you're going to click that you are not a robot. And then you're going to click create my account. When you get to this page, it just means your account is created and you'll get your CCC ID. You want to take a picture, write it down, um, and then click continue. You should receive an email from OpenCCC that looks something like this. We recommend that you keep this handy in the event that you forget maybe your username or password, you get locked out of your account for whatever reason, and you want to um, uh, call the California Community College's help desk in order to get back into your account. So this is very important to keep just in case you have issues with your account. Now that you're on the college application, um, you want to select the term you're applying for, summer, fall, or spring. Summer is made in July, fall is August to December, and spring is January to May. Then for your major, um, just for clarification, if it has your major in an AA after it, it means that you want to obtain associate's degree at Cerritos College. If it has AB after it, that means you're gonna, you want to transfer to the CSU. If it has an AC, you wanna to transfer to UC. And if you are unsure of the major, just select undecided AA slash transfer. Then you're gonna to wanna to review your OpenCCC account information. If your mailing address is the same as the one you provided for that portal, you wanna click yes, and then it'll have you move on. But if not, or if your address is outside the United States, you want to click this box and you want to put the address that um, you currently have. If you want to review your open CCC account information, you just click that box and it just drops down and then all your information that you just inputted in your open CCC account will drop down and you could just review it. You can edit it if you want to, if you made a mistake also. And then you want to click the information that is accurate. So this is regarding your parent or guardian. And it is necessary to make sure that this information is correct because it will affect your financial aid package if it is not. So if at least one of the following statements is true about me, you will click one of these options right here. But if none of them are true, then you're going to click this lapse option right here. Then we're moving on to the education portion. The college enrollment status, you'll be a first time student in college after leaving high school and you want to click that option. And then because you are a high school senior at a current um, US high school, you want to click that you received your high school diploma from a US school. Then you want to click I attended high school and then at the bottom you want to type in the high school you went to, click it and click continue. So um, for high school seniors, we're gonna go on to this next slide. Um, if you completed the 11th grade, of course as a high school senior you should have, so you're gonna click yes. And then these options will appear. You're going to click, you're gonna put your unweighted high school GPA as at the end of 11th grade. So it does help if you have a transcript with you you can access it through your high school portals. Um, and then you're going to look at the highest English course you completed in high school, regardless of whether you passed or not. And the same for your highest math course, and you're going to put the grade you got in those classes. Then for this section, you want to click none for college education since you haven't been to a college before. And then click continue. And then this is regarding your citizenship. So if you are a US citizen, go ahead and click the first option. If you are not, you are gonna click permanent resident, amnesty, refugee, or any of these student visa options. Um, so you wanna make sure that you check before you make a decision because it will ask you um, more information regarding your, those statuses. And if you are an undocumented student, you should select other and then check your eligibility for AB 540. 
Um, so undocumented students who are determined to be out of state or non-residents should check their eligibility for AB 540. And in some instances, undocumented students will get the in-state residency determination through the admissions application and won't need to submit a separate AB 540 form. So if you have any questions regarding whether you are eligible or not, we recommend again clicking other right here and then um, visiting our admissions and records office or contacting them in some way so they can further help you figure out your eligibility. Then for the military section, just feel free to answer if your parents were in the military and anything like that and click continue. And then this is important because it also helps determine your residency. So if your parent or guardian has lived continuously since May 25th, 2018, you want to click yes. If not, you want to click no. And then you want to make sure that you click any of these activities in the event that your parent engaged in any of those activities. So for example, if they pay taxes outside of California, you need to click that. If they register to vote outside of California, you need to click that. But otherwise, if they, none of these apply to you, feel free to click no, and you can leave these options blank. At any time in the last 24 months, if you were determined to be homeless by any of the following agencies, you'll click yes or no. Or if you've ever been in a court-ordered foster care, you'll select yes or no, whichever applies to you. And then this is our needs and interests pages. So um, this will help determine what services we can provide for you on campus. So if you're comfortable reading and writing in English, you would click yes. If not, you would click no. And then our school would contact you um, regarding services that can help you uh, become more comfortable with your English. We always recommend that our students click, click yes if they're interested in receiving information about money for college, regardless of whether they're in high school, you guys just graduated high school, or whether you're a re-entry student because it'll help you um, look for information regarding scholarships and grants. Just like she said, we recommend to select yes to learn more about money for college and also select yes if the next paragraph applies. If you are interested in joining athletic programs at Cerritos, you want to click yes or no. And these are a list of the programs and services we offer here at Cerritos College. So if you want to look um, for more information regarding these resources, we recommend searching these up on our Cerritos College website um, and then clicking the services and programs that interest you the most. And then the list continues down here. Then you want to select the gender which you identify as and then you want to input your parent guardian educational levels regardless of your age and yeah. then sorry and then you want to put in your race and or ethnicity if you are hispanic or latino yes or no and if you're not, you just collect, or you just click any of these options uh, below. If you have been previously enrolled in a college, in this college, then you want to input your seven digit student ID. If you haven't done that, just leave it blank. If you're interested in disabled student services, you'll click yes or no. So these are the so these are the um, services we provide for these disabilities. So if you click any of these options, our student accessibility services office will contact you um, regarding what um, support you can receive. If none of these apply to you, feel free to um, leave this box by alone. And then if you, this is some more personal information. So if you are a student that supports. Um, other family members through your income. You want to select how many family members you support. Um, and then you want to kind of guess what your total household income was in the previous year. This is more for a statistical reason, so it doesn't have to be accurate. Then you want to put in your primary race or ethnicity, your marital status, if you're currently employed, 
if you experience difficulty finding suitable employment, all these questions just select yes, no, which applies to you. And then this is regarding student services that may be of interest to you. So if you're interested in working on campus, um, you would click this button. If you are an international student, this would help the Office of International Students um, provide you with resources for your transition here. And then if you're interested in our Teacher Training Academy, you would click this box and they will also uh, make you more aware of the resources they have available for future teachers. And then you can feel free to click any of these boxes um, regarding your special interests. If you're interested in participating in an intercollegiate sport, you'll click yes or no, and then select however many sports you're interested in participating in. And it continues, and then you want to uh, move on to your prior education. So if you're a high school, uh, for high school seniors, regardless of whether you've taken dual enrollment classes um, in the past through other community colleges or through our community college, you want to select zero through 29.9 units as, because that would make you a freshman status. Um, and then you want to click that you are currently in high school. And then you want to put the GPA that best fits you and then the gr year you graduated from high school. And then if you are receiving benefits from any of these programs, you would select the options that are, um, that apply to you. And it just continues on. And then just click the ones that apply to you. And for the military portion, um, if you are in current duty in California, you'll put the, ad, uh, the date where, or when you began and your status. And then if you are a veteran, you would click the options that pertain to you. Um, but if you are also a dependent of a veteran, you can also click some of the options that pertain to you as well, because dependents, um, also known as like children of veterans, can access um, some of the resources through our Veterans Resource Center. And then the list continues down below. Then when you get to this um, ending, you're almost done. You just want to select yes or no if you give the college permission to release your directory information. And then you want to check both these boxes and sign down or write down your name down here, just saying that you understand and you certify the statements made in the application are accurate and true. And then you want to review your application just in case you've made any mistakes. So you're going to click review my application. If you're ever in a live Zoom outreach event and you want another ambassador to review your application, feel free to have them review it. If you would like a counselor to review it, feel free to have them review it. Um, it makes it available through a PDF form that you can share with those people so that they can make sure you filled out the application accurately. Then you'll click if you consent or do not consent to release information. And then when you submit your application, um, you are going to check both of these options, um, stating that you filled this application out to the best of your abilities and that it is as accurate as possible. Then you want to submit your application. And then this um, window should pop up when you're done. If it does not, it means your application was not submitted. Um, and it's just going to confirm that this is the term you applied for and when um, you applied for Cerritos College. Afterwards, we recommend regularly checking your inbox and your spam junk boxes just in case to make sure you receive your student ID number through your email. Your student ID number will be important to continue on um, to the next enrollment steps. Congratulations, you're going to Cerritos College. Thank you for learning more about applying to Cerritos College. I hope that it was helpful. If you have additional questions, please email schoolrelations at cerritos.edu 
and we will respond within two business days. Thank you again, and we hope to see you at Cerritos College.